Hi Virgo and uh, thank you for joining me here on Tarot for You 444. Um, this is going to be the end of November love reading for you. So we're going to take a look at you and then your person or who might be coming towards you. And um, looks like the cards are ready to go. Um, so I'll get straight into your reading. Um, we'll also take a look at the messages they're not telling you and also um, you know um, some love messages as well okay so we'll get straight into it we had two cards come straight out of the deck and the first one is the world so this is the start of a new cycle things going the right way for you um, Virgo which is great and also we get the lovers card as well so the lovers card you know does represent lovers also represents um, making decisions um, with regard to love and in other areas of your life but because this is a love reading we'll say um, you know with regard to love so you're coming across as you know having had to have been a little bit of an ice king or queen in the past here you know having to speak your truth having to say what you think um, perhaps even put your foot down um, you know maybe you blocked someone on social media for a while there we've got that you are feeling passionate now towards something or someone and um, this person you know has either caused you to feel the need to heal or feel as if they are very healing but it looks like the angels are coming in and you know calling out to you saying hey this person can be good for you this person is destined for you so that's interesting Virgo this person is destined for you perhaps that's what I'll call this video your person or who you're inquiring about has recently gone through a transformation of some kind they may be spiritual in nature they've also been fair with regard to money so you know if they pay child maintenance or if they um, you know have responsibilities in their life they're being fair about them they could also have some sort of codependency they could already be in a marriage they may have an addiction issue or they could be tied to something that they feel that they cannot get out of I'm not seeing this coming through as a bad energy though although if they don't get out of it you know it might be quite toxic for them um, and it may also have an effect on their finances it looks like their finances could have been drained from this situation so if you come together I see love for you both here um, there's also an initial there uh, you know it can be an M or a W so that might resonate for some of the viewers might be an initial of someone you're thinking about we've also got the high priestess card here and you've got you know in this card there is a B and a J so for some that also might resonate as being the initials of the person you're inquiring about if you're wondering who it is so with the high priestess in reverse remember we've we've already got this card here if you come together I see you know love between you both um, but there could still be some secrets or some truths that need to be shed light on or one of you knows you know more and is perhaps not saying it which you know could be a spiritual thing uh, not a secretive thing we'll have a look at the secrets in a minute so there's a need to gain strength if you do come together and there'll be a need to communicate frequently as well perhaps on social media if you're at a distance you might need to text or call and make sure this is a priority because if it's not a priority you know if you don't have the strength and you don't communicate with one another then you know the relationship may not um, be as successful 
so just take that as as the advice there so what aren't they telling you let's take a look at that what aren't they telling Virgo for the second half of November 2019 what does this person need to say that they're not saying okay so the truth the truth is that ace of swords this is the universe letting you know what the truth is they've had to travel to calm of calmer waters they've put a lot of effort into traveling into calmer waters they've been wounded with regard to love before and they have you know, had to take a stand in the past. And although they won, um, they had to take a stand. Um, so now they're focusing on good health, their own transformation, you know, feeling energetic and taking care of their health. That's really at the forefront. And it looks like they are wanting you to be their wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, Sometimes the Nine of Cups isn't just pleasure and happiness, though. It can also denote um, a greedy person or someone who is a drinker. But I haven't... Well, yes, actually, because the Ace of Cups came up too. So just be aware that this person may have a drinking problem of some kind. You know, when they get stressed, they might go to alcohol. So just be aware and look into that as you see fit. Obviously, my channel... Um, you know there's a disclaimer there you know go within you know you know do the research for yourself don't just take my word for it because this is a collective reading and um you know obviously everyone uh situations are going to be different not everyone's going to have an alcoholic <laughs> person coming you know they may just be greedy or they may just see you as their wish fulfillment But, you know, before obviously go dating someone, it would be nice to know what their habits are. <laughs> Just FYI. Okay. So the love messages from the person you're inquiring about. Do you even realise how amazing you are to me? That's on the bottom of the deck. Do you even realise how amazing you are to me? Every time I itch my nose, that's the truth. <laughs> so that's good. Please stay in my life. I don't want you to go. Please stay in my life. I don't want you to go. I'm a big mess and that's the last thing you need right now. Yeah, so for some they've got a drinking problem. Or even perhaps a gambling addiction. I'm sorry for hurting you. I never wanted you to feel bad in any way. I can't wait for the day we'll start living our life together is the last message there okay Virgo so what we're going to do now is just see what spirit want you to know let's just see what the advice is from spirit with my personal deck that I made your solar plexus needs work so that's the chakra related to, um, you know, feeling, you know, where your power center is. So if you don't know anything about chakras, have a look into that. Your solar plexus needs work. You can get a guided meditation on YouTube for that. Keep going. You're doing fine. Love your body. You love them, huh? For some of you, the promotion is coming. And if you get stressed out, the bottom of the deck is breathe deep belly breaths. So, you know, it's an in for five, out for five. In for five, out for five. And you can do that for five minutes 
to 10 minutes morning and night and if you feel like you're going to hyperventilate that's because it's working okay it'll actually um tell your vagus nerve to calm down and that you don't need to be anxious so that when you do get into a situation where you feel you know perhaps you know afraid or panicky you know you'll actually start doing the deep belly breaths after a time okay so if you want to like subscribe share or comment i'd love that from you virgo and uh, if you need me at all my details are in the description box um, all of the money from my channel goes to the orphanage um, in Africa so if you would like to donate um, my PayPal information is down below and I would love to see you in December and thank you in advance for all the donations um, I really appreciate them um, actually the orphanage do so thank you <laughs> bye